everybody. So here we have this compact Presario V6000. I have upgraded the four gigabytes of memory. I've dropped in a 240 gigabyte or 256 gigabyte solid state drive. I have also replaced the LCD screen as well as the CCFL inverter because the previous screen that was in here was really dim. I do have a video of that. But what I'm going to be doing in this video is quite interesting. On this flash drive we have Windows 11 loaded onto it with the Windows 11 installer. And of course I have used Rufus to set up this USB installer because of course I had to go ahead and bypass the Elite Class checks for the Microsoft Elite Class Middle System requirements which this machine does not meet. So that being said, I have just set the date and time on this little thing because the CMOS battery is dead. And I'm going to insert our USB drive into an available USB port. This machine should be able to boot off of USB drives. So let's go ahead and get out of the setup utility. Let me do a quick run through there real quick. So we have four gigs of memory. Our CPU is a Turion 64X2 TL50, 1.6 gigahertz CPU. This is one of the laptops that has been known for failure. Now, these things were notorious for going bad, the motherboards especially. Um, this is one of the ones that happens to not yet quit working. We'll turn that on. Here's a boot order. Which right now isn't going to matter because there, there's nothing on here at all. Except for the installer which is on the USB drive. Anyway, let's go ahead and get started. See if it picks it up right away. Okay, so right now we're getting a whole bunch of nothing. Maybe the uh, USB drive is loading, I don't know for sure. Maybe the boot screen isn't working for some reason. We'll just hang tight and see what happens here. Okay, we are in. So let's go ahead and get started. I must say I like how smooth this uh, trackpad is on this machine. It's nice and smooth. It feels like you're uh, gliding your finger across on a glass, like a like a window pane or something. It's really smooth. For example, this HP laptop over here to the left, it's kind of a coarse feel when you're dragging your finger across the trackpad. So this machine here, if you didn't already, was made in 2006. So it is definitely quite old. And it will be the oldest machine I have ever attempted a Windows 11 installation on. To put that in perspective. Yeah, it's uh, quite old. Okay, it's not seeing our drive. Okay, so apparently the SSD was not even making full contact with the motherboard. That's because of the design that this machine has for how the hard drive is connected to the motherboard. It uses this stupid little um, plug-in that you just stick on the hard drive and there's a little uh, contact here that slide across other contacts that are on the motherboard. And in the case of the solid state drive, the drive is just a tad bit smaller than the standard hard drive that this had. So the contacts did not make up really well here. So I had to actually loosen this up off the drive a little bit you can see there's a little gap there. Let's give that a try, see how it does. Okay, here we are. 
So now we're going to create our partition. Okay, let's go in install. Okay, so I stopped the camera to let this thing do its thing with the installation, and then all of a sudden the computer just hard reset. Not sure if it was a crash or if it was power laid or what, but yeah, it didn't even make it through setup. So, what well, is a cow that is not happy? <laughs> there's a there's a uh, cattle farm across the street from our neighborhood. So, anyways, um, yeah, this thing apparently just can't do it either. I'm not gonna say it's an issue with Windows itself. I think it's probably hardware related because, as I mentioned earlier in this video, these machines were notorious for motherboard failures, and there's no telling. I mean, the motherboard on this thing could be ready to go. I don't know for sure. I was feeling how hot it is back there. It's not super hot, but that was one of the issues these things had was overheating issues. So I'm afraid that we just might not be able to do it on this machine. So I may give it another go in a future time, and if I do, I'll definitely post a video. So I'm sorry if this wasn't the result y'all are wanting, but I mean this thing definitely, definitely have some issues here. So anyways, hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Hey everybody. Thanks for taking the time to watch this video from Cuckoo Channel. If this is your first time, please subscribe to the channel and be sure to tick the bell so we can know if I new video post. Please like this video if you enjoyed it, leave a comment, and share this video as well as the channel with your friends and get the word out. Also, I have a second channel that's Comp MTDX. Over there you'll find videos about thunderstorms and weather, cycling, and videos about me personally. Feel free to subscribe over there as well if you like. Again, I really hope you enjoyed this video and thank you so much for your support.